vlog for a new type of series here on my channel. I'm going to be documenting our half marathon training for the Seaside School Half Marathon coming up in February of 2024. It is currently October. It's about the end of October right now. So we have between 17 and 18 weeks until race day. So that is plenty of time to build up our mileage and do all of the training. So if you followed here on my channel for any amount of time, you know that back, it wasn't last year, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. Last year I did the Seaside Half Marathon and I actually ended up having some weird foot problems at the very end and I think it had to do with my shoes. I had thicker socks on and I have never been in that sort of pain ever during any sort of half marathon. And that was my sixth half marathon that I've ever done. I've, I've even ran a full before and I've never had any sort of foot problems. So it kind of threw a wrench in things after and I really learned a lot about making sure that I have the right socks on and the right shoes for any sort of long distance training. So I've done a ton of 5Ks, a ton of 10Ks, and I've actually roped Nick into a few half marathons and 5Ks and 10Ks along the way. And somehow I have tricked him into doing this one with me too. So we are going to do all this training with you guys. And every week I'm gonna share our workouts, how they go, go into everything that we're learning through the week and just seeing how we progress along the way. So I'm so excited that you guys are here. I hope that you guys enjoy this type of video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new so that you don't miss any updates. As far as my channel goes here, we actually moved here to the Panhandle of Florida back in 2021. So we are from Little Rock, Arkansas, which is home of the Little Rock Marathon, which is one of our favorite races that I actually ever did. And then I also did a full marathon in Conway. So we are from Arkansas, but we've lived here in Florida for a few years now, and we love to share our beachy adventures. We like to go running, paddle boarding, walking, and we have a cute little guy named Gary, who's our rescue Shih Tzu, who we actually got in April of this year. So we share all kinds of fun beachy adventures and dog parent adventures too. So I hope that you guys enjoy all of our channel videos, but this one's going to be a new series that I'm going to try to upload every single week to keep you guys up to date with how our runs go. So let's go ahead and get started with week one of half marathon training. My very first run, we actually did three miles. So we're going to do three-ish, maybe four runs a week with this training plan that I have. I just got it online. It's from Brooks, which is like the Brooks running shoe company. And it's not too bad the very first week. So it definitely felt doable, but we started with the three mile run and we live here in the 30A area now. And so it is so run friendly. There are tons and tons of trails and we just feel like we could go on and on forever. You could probably run a whole marathon here on the 30A trail. All right, so let's kick things off with the very first run of the week where we tackled our first three miler. We actually were over in the Grayton Beach area and here's how it went. survived our very first run of this training plan and it was not too terrible obviously we have a lot of work to do and if you guys are on Strava be sure to follow me there because I share all of my runs there and so you can kind of check out our progress how the miles go uh, what our pace is everything like that and I'll be sure to give you a follow back too so make sure to kind of connect with me over there but that was our first run. It was a really good one. We survived and we also realized that we needed to get some new shoes for our workouts, but more on that in just a little bit. All right, let's go to the next run of this training plan was run number two and we did another three miler. It's a very good base mileage for us. I feel like we kind of keep that type of a distance in our run bank basically. So as long as we can, you know, accomplish three miles, we feel like we're, you know, in a good place, but obviously we have to get a lot further for 13.1. But here is run number two of the Time 
for workout number two and we are in watercolor and we're gonna go for probably between two and three miles today. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, so that was a valid reason for us to stop because there's a little deer family down here. We've seen them out there a few times and they're so cute. I'm sure they're like, stop looking at me and taking pictures, just trying to rest. <laughs> but it was meant to be for us to stop. once a week we are gonna try to run a mile and do a time trial every week to see how much it's increasing or decreasing <laughs> in time so then we can try to measure our fitness and how the training plan's going so we'll do that maybe Sunday yeah. I think yeah so Sunday we'll do a time trial for a mile separately because he's faster than me <laughs> To 
run number three of the week and we actually tackled four and a half miles in total, but we had actually just four miles on the training plan for the day. So we went just a little bit further. I guess you could call it more of like a cool down run. And it was doable. It wasn't terrible. We did survive, but we actually got to wear our new on cloud shoes and they made a world of difference. If you guys are new to running, let me just go ahead and tell you that your shoes make everything different. These actually have to be the most comfortable running shoes that I have ever owned. We actually tried on some Hoka's the other day and I have had Brooks before. I've run in pretty much all kinds of running shoes, Nikes, Asics, New Balance, everything you can think of. But these on clouds are so comfortable. It truly feels like you have springs under your feet and they just made this run feel so much better. You can tell on your knees and your hips and everything. And obviously we're, you know, I ran my first full marathon in my 20s and so I'm getting a little bit older and I can definitely tell that things just don't run as easily as they used to. So I am happy to have found a shoe that feels really good and I can't wait to see how they help as we get into longer runs along the way. But we did our run. Uh, it was actually today we finished our run and it was in seaside area and it was a beautiful beautiful day and the weather is making such a difference in not feeling like you're going to die because of the humidity and we're kind of mixing up our timings of the runs too so some of them are in the early morning and then some of them are in the afternoon and obviously if I stay it'll be in the morning but and it'll feel really cold then because it's February but we are going to just kind of mix it up to keep things interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and check out how run number three of the week went. We're at 2.4, gonna take a little walk break and then get back to it, so a mile and a half left. of half marathon training. It was a really great week. Obviously we need to add in a few more strength training sessions this week and I really want to add in more yoga. I say that every single time I try to do training, but I really mean it this time because I want to feel my best come race day. So go ahead and stay tuned you guys for all of our weekly runs. Make sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe so you don't miss any updates from us. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.